Hey everybody, it's Jim, and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. So last time we worked with running processes in the background when you're inside of a corn shell program. Let's look at running processes in the background when you're actually on a command line. Now this might happen where you're on the computer console and there's only one computer console at a time. So this would be your only window and you can't open up other console windows and run other things. So you need to put things in the background if you want to run more than one thing at once. Let's use our trusty old Unix sleep command and in this case we have sleep 1000 and what this will do is it will just put the terminal basically to sleep for a thousand seconds. It will tie up your terminal for a thousand seconds. You really can't do anything with it. So let's hit enter and now our terminals basically useless for a thousand seconds. So how do we take this active program and put it in the background? You do that by hitting control Z and what that does is it stops the actively running program in your window. So wherever this sleep command was in the middle of whatever number it was at, it stopped at that. So say for example, it had counted off 45 seconds and it had 9.55 left to go. When you hit Control Z, it remembers that it still has 9.55 seconds left to go and just pauses right there. So let's take this and put it in the background. How do you put it in the background? BG. Let me back up a second here. When we hit Control Z, we got this interesting message. What exactly is that? Well, it says, hey, this program that you just stopped, I'm going to call job one for this terminal its state is stopped and this is what the command actually was sleep 1000 so how do we take this sleep 1000 that isn't presently stopped that is known to this computer terminal as job one how do we put that in the background use the bg command the corn shell bg command it stands for background and you tell it which job you want to put in the background by putting a percent and then the job number. So in this case, percent one. And as you can see, it comes back and says, hey, job one, which is sleep 1000, is now running in the background. Now, how do you confirm that? Well, simply type in the corn shell command jobs and as you can see we have one job running in the background we could have more and the first job it's in a state of running and command it's running is sleep 1000 let's take and put something else in the background sleep 555 ampersand. So this will start it out in the background right away. And its ID, it is job number two as far as this terminal knows. And its process ID, this right here, this number right here is the process ID known to the operating system. This is the report style that comes back when you start a command in the background on the command line. It doesn't come back with this stuff, unfortunately. Or fortunately, however you look at it. So, let's see what's running in the background now. Jobs. And as we can see, we now have two jobs running in the background. And the plus sign means, hey, this is one we worked on most recently. So next time, 
we will go over how you take a job running in the background and bring it to the foreground, or how you can take a job running in the background and kill it.